testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you may be. This is Mike from someonesbones.com, delivering the latest and greatest Nibiru news and information. Today, I will be reading a controversial piece, the third installment in a series of articles regarding the true nature behind SpaceX's recent launches and how these launches have been secretly funded to conceal the true nature of the missions. I'll read the story and then offer commentary on it and the two previous installments. I'll link the articles below in case you don't want to listen to my voice and just want to read the pieces for yourself. Headline, Nibiru Space Launch Planned for Next Week. And the story reads, For the second time in three weeks, a Trump-funded space launch will attempt to confirm widely circulated reports that Nibiru has frozen in space and no longer endangers the Earth. Earlier this month, President Donald J. Trump rallied the aid of SpaceX founder Elon Musk, a shadowy entrepreneur whose Falcon 9 rocket blasted off into space on January 14, carrying classified Nibiru monitoring equipment. That mission suffered catastrophic failure. Democratic saboteurs tampered with the rocket's alluvial guidance systems, sending it plunging into Venus's scorching atmosphere. SpaceX and the Trump administration concealed the true nature of the January 14 launch, claiming the rocket carried standard communication satellites. During the week of 30 January, weather permitting, SpaceX, funded by Trump to the tune of $300 million, hopes to launch another rocket to gather critical information on Nibiru's current state of cyclic movement. This time, however, the liftoff will take place in Florida, not California. Part of the reason next week's launch will occur at Kennedy Space Center is because, sources say, Democratic spies have been spotted lurking near the Vandenberg launch site. The Trump-Musk team has planned for all possible contingencies and has taken steps to mitigate future sabotage attempts. Last week, Elon Musk joined Trump for a closed-door breakfast meeting at the White House. Our source within the administration heard Trump's thunderous voice while standing outside the White House's Roosevelt Room, where the clandestine meeting took place. On Monday morning, President Trump met with with many business leaders, our source said. After the meeting officially concluded, Musk stayed behind. He and Trump talked for nearly an hour, and I specifically heard them discussing details on the launch. Trump was dishing out a lot of money. He wanted to avoid another failure. Trump hates failure. He's deeply concerned about this Nibiru thing and is afraid that handling it, handling it incorrectly will cause his approval ratings to plunge even lower than they already are, if that's possible. So he and Musk hammered out details. First, Musk explained the science behind the failed launch. Agents of opposition reprogrammed Falcon 9's telemetry system using a modulated ultra-high frequency radio signal. The rocket's electronics, it turned out, were vulnerable to existential interference, a flaw SpaceX engineers solved soon after Falcon 9 crashed into Venus. Trump was heard barking at Musk, If you don't get it right this time, you're fired. When When Musk suggested hiring additional security personnel to guard the launch, Trump brushed him off with a dismissive wave of his hand, saying, That's not your concern. Prince has taken care of everything. The comment refers to notorious Blackwater mercenary Eric Prince, who, according to an interview published by Democracy Now!, has been secretly advising Trump from the shadows. Our source said that Prince and his sister, Betsy DeVos, Trump's pick for Secretary of Education, were at the White House and conferred with President Trump shortly before Elon Musk's arrival. There's a lot going on here we don't yet fully understand, our source admitted but I'm sure Trump hired Eric Prince to safeguard the launch. Additionally, Trump invested in an elaborate security apparatus designed to intercept and repel foreign microwave signals that attempt to penetrate the launch platform. The Federal Aviation Administration has imposed a no-fly zone around Kennedy Space Center for the entire week. Any aircraft straying into the restricted area will be ordered to change course immediately, and eliminated with extreme prejudice if they fail to comply. If the mission is successful, the Falcon 9 rocket will reach Mars in just over two days. The payload module will establish orbit over Mars' southern polar, polar region 
and deploy thermal imaging optics and motion sensor devices able to gauge accurately whether Nibiru's axis of inertia have caused the celestial, celestial interloper to freeze in space. The payload module is said to include a transverse funnel capable of siphoning red iron oxide dust from the Nibiru system for comparison against known liquidity factors. The exact time and date of the launch are closely guarded secrets known only to Musk, Trump, and a handful of engineers who have been sworn to secrecy. End of story. And there we have it. Another solid speculative reason as to why Trump is so gravely concerned about Nibiru. Before publishing this and the preceding stories, we too question the idea that existing technology could reach Mars in two days no less. Sounds absurd, I know. However, the notion of the United States having a secret space program is not new. This theory has existed for a very, very, very long time and a lot of anecdotal evidence suggests that such a program could possibly exist. We ran these stories based on the assumption that such technology does ex indeed exist. Even Ben Rich, former head of Skunk Works, was quoted on his deathbed as saying, we have the technology to take E.T. home. Something else. Although we have no evidence yet to support this hypothesis, we can reasonably speculate that Trump, President Trump has refused to release his tax records because such documents would prove Trump has invested substantial amounts of money into controversial research programs, like Nibiru. Imagine what would happen. This would provide his political adversaries with powerful ammunition to use against him. The cries for impeachment would echo throughout media across the world. So Trump has good reason for withholding that information if indeed, as reports suggest, he has been investing enormous amounts of capital into Nibiru research. We still stand firm in our belief that Trump will soon provide complete disclosure. But, if Nibiru is frozen in space, Trump would want the confirmation of that before informing the world about Nibiru. I will link all supporting information below. Please leave your comments below too. We always want to know what you think. On that note, I'm going to bring this to a close. This is Mike from Someone's Bones, signing out. Have a good weekend. Thank you.